Planning Center gives you a simple and powerful chord chart creator that can automatically transpose your chord charts to any key. Let's take a look. Planning Center doesn't give you any chord charts, but it does give you many ways to get them. From a Song Arrangement tab, click the plus in the file section, where you can upload your own files, or import from other sites like Song Select and Price Charts. But you can also create chord charts in Planning Center that can be transposed to any key by clicking the Lyrics and Chords button. On the left is where you edit your chart. It's as easy as typing your lyrics, adding your chords, and setting the key. You can see the preview on the right updates as you make changes, and chords are automatically recognized and shown in bold. And here's the fun part. By just changing the preview key, you can see your chords transposed just like that. Yep, it's that easy. You can type your charts from scratch or find them on the internet, but if you already have charts in Microsoft Word, instead of uploading the Word file, open it on your computer, copy the text, and paste it into Planning Center. And just like that, your entire chord chart is instantly transposable. My chart's done, so I'll go back to my arrangement. Now you'll see a chord chart for any key you add. I'm going to add a new key and choose E flat, but I need a capo version for my guitarist, so I'll click to add an alternate key in D. And when I hit save, I instantly get a chart in E flat and an additional capo chart in D. When I add this song to a plan, my team members can get their files for any item from the files box. Any planning center charts will include a quick transpose option so your team members can get charts and keys you haven't even set up. If you use our music stand app for Android or iOS, planning center charts show the key in a blue bubble, which acts as a button to let you quick transpose by choosing any other key from the list. There are two ways to enter chords. The first is to just type the chords on their own line above the lyrics, like I've done in verse one. This is the easiest way, but can cause spacing problems when you transpose. Notice my last C chord is above the second syllable in Wonder. If I transpose to a key with more sharps or flats, most chords take up more room and now they aren't above the right words anymore. So to prevent this, you can use the Chord Pro format, which I've done in the chorus. Instead of typing chords above lyrics, put them next to the lyrics, inside of square brackets. Anything in square brackets is placed above the lyrics on a chord line in your actual chart, which you can see in the preview. You can put chords anywhere, including in the middle of a word, and you can place other characters in the brackets to keep them with your chords. Common section headings are automatically bolded. To make a custom heading, just type it in all caps. From the formatting button, you can access font options, set your chart to have two columns, or change the margins or page size. The options menu has additional formatting options. If you want to force a page break or a column break, click those to insert them. And if you want to put certain words in bold or italics, you can surround those words with special codes. Finally, in addition to chord charts, you can enable other types of charts, like lyrics, where all chords are removed. If you'd rather use the Nashville number system instead of regular chord charts, you can even get those formatted using regular numbers or Roman numerals. Click the Lyrics, Numbers, or Numerals button at the top right to enable any of those file types to show up with the other files in your list. If you don't enable these, your team can still get them using the Quick Transpose button from a plan or in Music Stand. It just takes a couple more steps. So that's transposing chord charts. To learn how to transpose audio files so your team can listen in the right key, check out our lesson and video on transposing audio.